Hey guys, I'm Ash from Escape Studios and you're watching another Tips and Tricks video. Today's tip comes courtesy of one of our awesome studio assistants, Fabrizio. He's told us the best way to make holes in polygons without messing up your topology. Okay, so for this example, I've made a simple polygon sphere and I want to put a hole, let's say I want to put a hole here. I'm going to go to Edit Mesh in the Polygons menu. I'm going to click on the little box next to Insert Edge Loop Tool and that'll bring me up the options. Now I'm going to option for multiple edge loops the number of edge loops I'm going to take down to 1 and I'm going to turn off autocomplete. Okay. Now what this means is when I try and insert an edge loop now, if I click on any edge, the little point is exactly in the middle of the edge. Okay. Now I'm going to go over to another edge, I'm going to click anywhere and it still puts the point in the middle. I'm just going to make a little diamond around here and then press enter. I've got some great symmetrical topology there. Now, the edge that I've highlighted, that is the edge where our hole is going to get made. So if I just press 3 on the keyboard, you can see the shape the hole is going to make. You can do it if you want to before you make the hole. You can move the vertex up, you can either move them manually, perhaps use curve snapping to arrange them into the exact shape of the hole that you want. Or you can make the hole and then move your vertex, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select the four faces. If I just I'm just going to press 1 on my keyboard again so you can see that those are the four faces we made. I'm going to hold shift and right click and come down to extrude face. Now I'm going to move this extrusion in a tiny tiny little bit and then leave it. Okay. The reason I've done that, if I press 3 and show you what happens if I extend this hole down, see how the faces are being overstretched and are starting to turn black? That's because Maya doesn't like the topology. So I'll undo that. What we'll do to get around that, after we've moved the extrusion in just a little bit, I'm going to extrude again, and I'll just press free on my keyboard so you can see the effect this has. Now, when I push this in to make my hole, you can see the topology on the surface of the sphere doesn't get damaged. The curve only exists inside that little edge that we made. I've made a perfectly shaped hole. You can, of course, now if you want to, you can grab your vertices and move them around to change the shape of your hole, or you can undo the extrusions and move your vertices first before you make the hole. Okay guys, as usual, we really hope that helped. Now, next week we're going to be running free tutorial week. That means every day we're going to go into our free resource center, we're going to pick out some of our best tutorials on Nuke and Maya, and we're going to upload them onto YouTube for your enjoyment. Hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on this awesome opportunity, and we'll see you next week.